Hey guys, how's it going? Been a while, as I always say. <clears throat> so recently I got into playing uh, Black Ops 2. Um, I really got into it, actually. I like it a lot. So what I wanted to make and I wanted to show you folks what to do um, was basically I made the Black Ops 2 Combat Blade, which is uh, took a while to make because previously on some of the other ones I have, the... Um, I made the supernatural knife. Let me take this off. I made the supernatural blade, and a supernatural blade was out of aluminum, so uh, that was actually easy to work with. But this one, I kind of tell you uh, what the gist of it is, uh, and where some of this stuff will work. So since I do bomb disposal for the military, um, get rid of ordnance. So I figured I'd dress the part with the uh, with the blade. So that'd be kind of cool. But, um, yes, anyway, getting back to it. So, as you guys can remember, the combat blade is the blade that he's running around with. Not the, not to be confused with the ballistic knife, the one that ejects the, uh, the tip. Um, but this is the actual one that he's running around with. So, what I used was, this is weldable steel, you can pick up at any hardware store, Okay. And what I used to cut it was a jigsaw with a metal cutting bit. If you have a scroll saw that can cut metal or um, maybe some air compressing tools <clears throat> with the cutter bits, go for it. So what I did was I drew it up. took me a while. And I, I ground it with my uh, grinding wheel, uh, stone grinding wheel. And uh, just kept working it. For, so from this... I got this. It's balanced really well. I like the grooves on it. It is very sharp. Very sharp. So, I drew the design on here, so you can actually see the size difference. I had to cut off that much, grind it down, shave it down. Um, once I drew the design, I trimmed it off with the jigsaw. Let's see, after that, I did as best I could, and then I, I started to grind it down with the uh, stone grinder. And then started to sharpen it. I use the belt sander a lot too. If you have the belt sander, use that to give it an edge because that'll that, that can shape it as well. Belt sander helped it. A lot of palm sanding uh, with the machine. Use the palm sander. Um, go higher the grit to cut it down, and then when you're getting closer to finishing the product, you want to smooth it out. So I used high grit uh, sandpaper uh, to finish it. I also baked it, so I made a really, really hot uh, fire, and I put, I popped it in without the cord on, of course. So I put it in there. I, kept, I left it in there for about an hour. I kept stoking the fire. Uh, if you have a kiln, work, work with that. Um, I didn't do a torch though. I didn't want to use a torch. I wanted to actually keep it at a steady temperature. And then after an hour, I took it out and I, uh, I dunked it in cooler, cooler fluids. Um, you can do oil or water, and then after that, it left a uh, it left a kind of hard shell on it, and I was sanding it, sanding it, sanding it, but it was really slow going to to sand off that baked on shell. So instead, I used the uh, the grinder I, on the opposite side. I used the uh, wire brush, the spinning wire brush, completely cleaned everything off. Took it down to the this the stock bare metal and it was silver then I used uh, for those of you who have blued pistols or guns uh, you can buy it at any sports authority it's a, it's called bluing and it's a clear liquid but you have to heat up your steel so I, I hit it with a light torch and then uh, dunked some uh, cloth in the bluing material and just repeated going over it going over it going over it so I turned from silver to this color and it looks it looks like kind of smear a couple of smear marks on it, 
But that's, I had put oil on it, and so that's probably from my fingerprints. But once I got it, I did several coats of it, heated it up, wiped it down, heated it up. Uh, and then once you're done with that, you can hit it with a light double lot uh, or double O uh, steel wool to kind of polish it up. I did that, and uh, after it set, it dried, I got the probably like 600 grit sandpaper, really fine sandpaper, and kind of highlighted the edges. See, like this down here, just like the game around the tip, around here, uh, let's see, this part, this section, and around the, uh, the butt stock. Because the video game has the same way. Uh, this obviously is sharp as well here. So you can use it for cutting rope or skinning. Um, but it's, it's actually really, really balanced well. Uh, I like it. First time making a steel knife. Um, I learned a lot. I think uh, the next time I could, you know, make it go by a little quicker. Because I know what tools to use, what tools not to use. So if you're going to do this, be very careful though, get your steel, draw out your design, cut it out, remember, uh, use, a, use a belt, if you can get a belt sander with a narrow uh, belt, don't go for the real wide ones, because I tried that, it's really hard to maneuver your, your blade on it, and to give it a good edge. So if you can do that, uh, use that, use a grinder, just be patient, because this is definitely slow going compared to aluminum knives or working anything else. Steel is, is definitely trippy. And then wrapped it with the uh, 550 paracord. Just like the video game. Okay. Not bad, right? And the reason I'm, I'm putting the video up on this is um, I actually tried to look on eBay to see if uh, anybody had videos on how they made it, but I couldn't find any. So. Uh, I thought that, that would be kind of uh, interesting for fans to make. And um, so that's why I, I kind of got into it. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts? Does anybody know anything good about ballistic knives? I know they're pretty dangerous. Actually, very dangerous. So uh, hit me up with any questions. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Um, let me know if you guys are uh, interested in adding me as a, as a friend on your P. I, I play it on PS3, Black Ops 2. Yeah, I admit it is kind of late in the game. Um, it's been out for quite some time. What actually got me interested in it was my, my nephew started playing it. So he started playing it. I started challenging him online uh, with him and challenging other people. And there are some really good guys out there. I mean, hats off to you. You guys are amazing. So um, I'm still on my first prestige. Pretty soon I'll be getting on to my second prestige. Um, but yeah, it's kind of embarrassing coming out so late, you know. But, uh, yeah, I'll keep that up and let me know what you think about the knife, right? Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, keep in touch and uh, hit me up if anything, all right? Take care. Aloha.